there was a different composition that we saw at the museum that was vertically oriented. It was a figure painting. And uh, Mary and Jesus were sort of, they were sort of floating up here. And they created this strange V. And there was a little horizon there. And there's no reason that that can't be the basis for a landscape too, right? You could take your painting You know, right down here, this is where the uh, the apostles were, right? That V kind of made a big strange pointer to an object down here. So I could take my composition here, right, real lightly, and then come back on it, and I can say, well, this could be like a grouping of branches, right? It could be part of a tree, and this tree could go over this way, or even over this way, right? Maybe let's make it to the right. Let's take this tree and bring it over. The tree will go off the page, of course. And the tree roots are going to come down. Go out into the landscape here, right? Be like an oak tree, kind of knobbly. So there's a tree, and that tree is just going to be dark. And then I can say, well, there's a path coming down here, right? Lead a, lead a path over to the corner. That path can get broken up a couple of times. There can be some bushes over here, right? Then there can be, you know, another bush back here. There can be another, another tree and some shrubbery over here. This can all be dark. Maybe catch some light here and there. And then I can do further trees going back in space. That tree can be dark, and so on. And I know my horizon's back here, and then I can lead this path going all the way back, right? I can go back into the far distance as necessary, right? Then I can put some shadows out. I can create like a little shrubbery or a rock to kind of break things up down here. And so on. So I've used basically a composition that was very, very simplified, oversimplified, right? And then turned it for a totally different purpose, away from figures and into landscape. Um, so when you use compositional ideas, because you're breaking it down into, you know, square, circle, triangle, you can steal that composition and use it for anything else. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, and so essentially what you're doing is taking your compositional study, simplifying, oversimplifying, and then building back, right? So when you build back, when you go to this oversimplified step and you build back, it can be anything that you want. And I think that's what's really fun about studying composition.